behind the scenes here at Remington Park, and we're behind the scenes with G.R. Carter. G.R. Carter, there is a fund that has been established in horse racing for a number of years now called the PDJF. It's a nice acronym, but it has a real heavy meaning. Yeah, it does. The Permanently Disabled Jockeys Fund, the PDJF, it's, uh, it came about about 10 years ago, uh, and what it does, it's, it's a supplemental it's a supplemental charity group that uh, takes care of the permanently disabled jockeys, the guys that have gave their their health permanently for for the sport of horse racing, and it's uh, it's a very worthy cause. I'm currently on the board of directors of the PDJF. It's been a uh, something that I, you know, I feel like I owe owe a debt to these guys, and uh, and I I'm not going to say it's my charity work, but I I feel like that I that I give my input on on taking care of these guys and help the fundraisers and all because we really do have a debt to these guys. And there really is an eclectic mix of those that are also fellow board members with you. Yeah, well, you know, we have uh, Will Farish, leading thoroughbred owner. Uh, Billy Peterson is a retired quarter horse rider. John Cord is a current thoroughbred jockey. Uh, uh, Bo Derrick, you know, movie star. You know, diff different people that have, you know, they, they, they know the cause is worthy and they, and they want to help. When a jockey rides for a racetrack at an association, there is some modest insurance coverage that they can provide their own, but this is a supplement to that, and it's very important, and it is really driven quite a bit by donation. Yeah, it's 100% it's donation driven uh, charity. It's a, uh, I don't know the exact term, it's a 501 3C, 3C charity, charitable, charitable organization that any any, any and all uh, donations come into is fully tax deductible. and. Uh, you know, I, I really feel like that the different entities of the horse racing business, from the owners, trainers, the racetracks, the jockeys ourselves, you know, we, we really owe a great a debt to these guys because they, like I said a while ago, they have literally given their health permanently for the rest of their life by, by an accident that's taken place in this sport of horse racing. And, uh, you know, we, we, I feel like we owe something to them to help take care of them and make sure that everybody doesn't just forget about them. Because I've noticed that that's an overlying theme when you get to know these guys personally so guys that got hurt back 20 30 years ago they feel like everybody's forgot about them and you know and and we really need to show them that we haven't and take care of them it's there's like 60 guys that, that the PDJF takes care of and it seems like that number stays right around 60 with you know, with the new guys that, that come on or you know the, the guys that have passed away but that number seems to really stay right around 60 and they give them a thousand dollars a month you know and that, that just really about pays their bills and stuff like that you know and part of the acronym, of course, is permanently disabled. These riders are not coming back into the saddle. You've been injured many times, countless times, but you're still back riding. Right. You know, they, I'm, like I said, these guys are permanently disabled. They need to be taken care of the rest of their life. It's not a deal like, you know, every jockey's had broken collarbone, broken leg. You know, it's it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's just a matter of when and how bad. You know, it's it, it's part of the game. Everybody knows that uh, that it's, it's dangerous, all the jocks, and uh, you know that, it, it could happen to you at any time you know and it, I've been riding races for 30 years this year and uh, it's amazing how many of these these guys that I know that, that have gotten hurt that are that are taken care of by the permanently disabled fund. Those are some stark numbers it's a stark name the PDJF and it's of stark importance to contribute when you have your opportunity.